everyone, it's Kim from Expressions of the Universe here with your weekly wisdom for November 27th through December 3rd. Astrologically, we have a new moon on Tuesday, November 29th. It will be in Sagittarius and the sun is also in Sagittarius and that is about our beliefs, truth, it's uh, an extremely divinely connected sign, and it's also a sign to have fun. It speaks of joy and celebration. I think that's why we have the holidays during this time. Um, I mean, that, that's not specifically why we have the holidays during this time, but it, it happens to work out that way. So make your new moon wishes, and new beginnings are coming you will see in in the card readings I'm gonna make this short and sweet today so we have let's uh, get that up in there acceptance and what this card is saying if you want to go ahead and pause your screen so that you could read that and get the full meaning and see what the affirmation is below this is just speaking of accepting people for who they are don't try to change them and if you feel that you have the need to change them then maybe you're not with the right people and a lot of times it really lies in accepting yourself so the things that you see in other people that you don't like those things really exist within you and I know that's deep and I thought for decades on that uh, on that saying you know that what you don't like in other people is actually what you don't like in yourself and it took me decades but I figured it out and it is true now last week we had this card it was beginnings it was this friggin piece of petrified wood and it came up again there are 56 cards in this deck I shuffled them and this is the card that came out so we're still looking at new beginnings, but this petrified wood is saying that somebody out there, or maybe many of you, are petrified of moving forward, of changing anything but the status quo. And you can't have that new beginning unless you make that first step, you know, little baby steps. Don't be so frozen in fear that you won't move forward. And, you know, for this to come up two weeks in a row um, is just really uncanny, and it's very interesting. So the cards, I drew three cards from the Wisdom of the Hidden Realm deck from Colette Baron Reed. The first card that came up is the Word Lord, and what he speaks about is how powerful your words are. And the words that you think in your head are to what is manifesting so what I gather from this is we need to be impeccably positive with our words what comes out of our mouth what we call ourselves what we label ourselves it all has to be positive because that is what you're manifesting so this card also speaks of trying to have daily affirmations writing them down putting some positive sticky notes on your mirrors or your refrigerator um, just positive notes of inspiration for yourselves every single day so that you can manifest and have an abundant and beautiful life you know if you're always putting yourself down all of the time what kind of energy are you emitting if you're not even nice to yourself so try to at least say one nice beautiful thing about yourself every day the second card that i drew is the high lord of gratitude and service and this really is interesting because it is the holidays and it's so important for us to be grateful not only during this time of the year but really to carry it all all of the time with us and also to put ourselves in the service do something nice for somebody else and it will come back to you tenfold try to live with the attitude of gratitude every day if you didn't read last week's blog I, pl I 
pretty sure that I put that in there. Gratitude is the foundation for absolute happiness. When you can be happy for even the disappointments that are in your life and you can see that when you are disappointed when something doesn't come your way, that it's because it wasn't meant for you, be grateful because something better is showing up. You can always look back in hindsight when something didn't work out for you and look back and say, oh, you know what? If this happened for me, then this would have never happened. It always winds up being, you know, wonderful. It works out perfect for you in the end. Now, the last card that I drew is Sacred Union. And this has been coming up a lot in the readings that I've been doing for my clients. And so it's not surprising that I am predicting relationships are going to start to blossom very soon. Now, be wary because December 29th, I believe, Mercury goes retrograde. You don't want to go on a first date. You don't want to get married. You don't want to start a new relationship either during that time. So if you don't find somebody within the next couple of weeks, then wait until February, like around Valentine's Day. But this isn't all, always just about love. This is also about sacred partnerships. It could be in business. It could be friendships. Somebody is coming to your aid that will help you in that new beginning. So pay attention to inspirations from your friends because somebody's going to be of a lot of assistance to you. So this sacred union, these partnerships, it's not always just romantic, but it could be somebody very beneficial to you that can springboard you into 2017 and provide a really great opportunity for you. Okay, so that's all I have for you this week. Promised I was keeping it short. I love you all. Mwah. Have a great week and be sure to check out the daily cards Monday through Friday on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Google+. And be sure also to read the companion blog later tonight when I post it. Love you all. Thanks. Bye.